Hey guys, Jack here, and today I wanted to do a little wrap up video on a couple of new Easter eggs that have been discovered in Dragon's Teeth. As you saw at the start there, there's a little drawing or an equation on the raw boxes. The drawing of the map is Paracel Storm, I think that's quite obvious, plus something we can't see squiggled out equals Megalodon. Those are the jaws of the Megalodon, i.e. a big shark, which of course we've seen already as an Easter egg in Naval Strike. Above the equation we can see the writing, I had to hide part of it, you were making it too easy. On top of the box we can see the normal RAW logo plus an extra RAW that isn't normally there. And if you recognise this, you're not going mad, this is actually the same RAW that's found on top of the antenna at the B point on Paracel Storm. Plus, as you can see here, the letters JJJU, that is the alias of a guy that works at DICE Los Angeles. He's probably the one responsible for all of these lovely Easter eggs that we keep finding. Now you might wonder to yourself, this looks kind of obvious. Why hasn't anyone noticed this yet? Well, the reason is that this is what the box normally looks like. Nothing out of the ordinary, no pictures on there. This is what you're going to see 95% of the time on the new Dragon's Teeth maps. Now I think I've deduced that there's a very small chance for a map to load with the easter egg texture on the raw boxes and I think that it only happens on official preset servers. So what does this mean? Well, I think it's either this is a genuine hint that there is another Megalodon or a big easter egg to be found on Paracel Storm like we always thought from the beginning or it's just a bit of a troll, a bit of a joke, but I don't know for sure. Now I'm more inclined to believe that this is legit and that's backed up by the fact that on one of the new maps, Lumpini Garden, underwater, written on the wall over here, is this. Again, you see the same map, that's Paracel Storm, and then some Chinese writing next to it which translates to the monster is real. And I believe that this was found by a guy called Absconicity. So now we've got two brand new hints that we either miss something on Paracel Storm or there's something that's been added to the game in the latest patch that could potentially be activated as an easter egg. Now I wanted to give you a little bit of backstory about how the raw boxes were found. I got an email about 10 hours ago from a guy called Infamous Wheaty claiming that he'd found something new with this picture attached to it. And I see that and go, what the hell's that? I've never seen that before on Battlelog, on Reddit, on any forums. Is this real? It's probably a fake. You know, it's a photo of a TV, I'm thinking this could be an elaborate troll or a Photoshop, that sort of thing. But then he starts chatting to me and he tells me that it's located on the raw boxes. So I'm looking for some proof here and I ask for another photo and he sends another one where I can see the minimap and it seems to be a bit more legit now. However, Infamous Wheaty doesn't have a capture card. So he's only sending me photos of his TV, it's not like a clear screenshot of this and I wanted to get a clear screenshot of it and whenever I went into a server to test it out myself I couldn't find it, the box just looks completely normal like it always does so again that leads me to believe that this is a fake but this dude is insisting that it's real but again I'm joining servers to test it out and it's not happening, it's not there this drives me absolutely nuts and I thought to myself, well, this guy's playing on PS3, maybe it's like a PS3 exclusive thing to try and keep it well hidden. So I go into the cupboard, I get my PS3 out of the cupboard, buy Battlefield 4 on it, download the game, load it up and I don't find anything again. So I'm like, this is definitely fake, this guy's just, just trolling me, he's, he's having me on. And so I did a little searching online and I happened to find a post on page 22 of the Phantom Initiate Battlelog thread by a guy called Blood Rampage 11. And for some reason, he didn't get any replies. No one replied to him. No one even read the comment. I don't know why. It's probably because he put it all in capital letters. But you can see quite clearly that he's saying on the 15th of July, he happened to find the very same box with the scribbles and the shark mouth. Probably the first person to ever see and document this Easter egg. And after I read that, now I know that it's real because it's coming from two different sources. So I had Blood Rampage on Battlelog and I asked him if he saw it, where he saw it. He says, yeah, he tells me what kit he had, what dog tags he was using, what team he was on. The guy's got an excellent memory. And with that information, I've just spent the last four hours trying to get this box to appear. And finally, after joining like 25 different servers, it happened. So there it is. Like I said, I think there's a very small chance that on official servers this easter egg box is going to spawn. 
So what do you guys think then? Is this enough to go on? Do you think that there's still a giant shark out there somewhere on Paracel Storm and it's got something to do with the raw antenna now we know that the same text appears on the box? What do we need to add to Paracel Storm to make the monster appear? I don't know. And I'm a bit dubious that this is real, but I hope that it is. You've got to decide that for yourself and to decide if you want to dedicate time to searching it again because it could just be a wild goose chase. I've uploaded a 1080p screenshot of the box and the equation and linked it down in the description below if you want to go and check it out. So if there's any Photoshop experts out there, maybe you can figure out what's behind the squiggle because that could lead to some pretty good clues, obviously. Also, we still haven't figured out what the Phantom Initiate password is, but we are making slow progress with it. A big thanks to Infamous Wheatie and Blood Rampage 11 for helping me with this one. Leave a rating and a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.